Hey, welcome back to the channel everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today I wanted to talk about uh, a topic that I see a lot of people discussing. There's not a lot of information on it um, and it, it's expensive, which is why I wanted to give you my thoughts and feelings on, um, on the matter. <clears throat> and then maybe you can come to your own uh, informed decision after, after I've sort of spewed off my nonsense. So first of all, excuse me if I seem a bit um, groggy today. I had a pretty bad night's sleep last night. My son's ill. He actually spent the whole night in a, in my bed with me, um, so it was a bit of a bit of a weird night's sleep. Um, but anyway, the topic I wanted to talk about today is whether or not you need uh, a mentor, whether or not you need to buy a course prior to starting your Amazon FBA business. So, I would say yes, it is extremely beneficial. So, I bought a course. A lot of people I know that are now doing well on Amazon also bought courses. I know people that didn't buy courses that are also doing well, but they're a bit further behind than, than me and these other guys are because we had that head start. So <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys five reasons why I think uh, buying a course prior to starting your business is beneficial. So reason number one is you get personal and this is honestly one of the biggest reasons for me anyway why I felt like it was um, money well invested and that is you have personal access to your mentor so the course that I the course that I bought I actually only completed 35% of it and the reason being is that anytime I got stuck um, I just emailed my mentor personally I didn't I didn't put it in the Facebook group I emailed him directly and I would wait a day or two because we've got different time zones. I'm in UK, he's USA. I would wait a day or two and he would reply to me. If I happened to catch him while he was online, we would have a good back and forth, eight to 10 emails, um, until I felt like my situation was resolved or I had that clarity to move forward with my business. So reason number one, you have personal access to an experienced seller. Obviously this means there's some vetting involved you don't want to buy a course from someone who doesn't sell on Amazon. I'm not saying you have to bombard them and tell them to give you proof because I think that's stepping the line a little bit. I never asked my mentor for proof. I just believed him in the way that he spoke and the way that he handled his course. That was enough for me. Uh, hopefully that's enough for you guys as well. <coughs> Personally, I think it's a bit rude to ask someone to show me their income just because I may be a bit insecure about them. Um, like when I was growing up, I would never ask my folks how much money they earned because it was just considered rude. And I, I carry those values with me now. And I would never ask someone just because I don't know them personally or it's online. I would never ask them to show me their wage um, because that's personal to them. So point number one, you have personal access to an experienced seller. Um, point number two is you now get access to a private Facebook group uh, on like literally every single course I've seen has its own private Facebook group. The difference between a private Facebook group and a free Facebook group is the people in the private Facebook group have paid to be there. So when you're paying to be somewhere, it means you're, you're serious about your position. So if you're paying to be part of a Facebook group, it means that you're, the content you're delivering is going to be of higher quality than the content in uh, these sort of free Facebook groups. And that, that's not to devalue um, these Facebook groups that are for free because they're a great way of connecting with other entrepreneurs and other Amazon sellers. But the paid ones are just that, that little step above the free ones. So point number three, and again, this is quite a big one. You can pay for a course to learn the knowledge, but the, the, most, uh, the most significant factor in buying a course is that you're paying for their experience. So what I mean by this is that you're paying somebody so you can avoid their mistakes. You can avoid making the mistakes that they made. So let's say you spend $1,000 on a course, which is a lot of money up front, let's face it. But in doing that, you may be avoiding a cost. Uh, you may be avoiding a mistake, sorry, that's going to cost you £5,000. And I'll give you an example of this. Just the other day in, um, in, I think, the FBA Heroes Facebook group, some guy commented saying... Um, he forgot to put an order limit on his items 
and he dropped his price down to 97% discount and someone bought his entire stock. Now he was able to rectify that but a good portion of his stock got shipped out before he was able to contact Seller Central. So yes, paying a thousand dollars up front for a course is a lot of money but if it's avoiding a costly mistake on your behalf then it's worth it. And not only is it worth it, it means you're actually in the plus rather than a thousand down. So just consider it that way. Instead of being a thousand down, maybe you're actually four or five thousand up. Uh, point number four, if they are a well-established um, seller and they have contacts in China on, on Alibaba, if they are in the same niche as you, and even if they're not in the same niche as you, just from the way that they speak and the way that they carry themselves, they may actually be able to get you cheaper prices um, from your supplier. So you may message the supplier and say, hey, I'm looking for you know X item, I want this amount of quantity, can you give me a quote? And they quote you back, let's say $3 a unit. Your supplier, if he's in a position to, uh, sorry, your, your mentor, if he's in a position to do so, may also message that supplier and say, hey, um, you know, it's a bit, uh, I, I wouldn't say unethical. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it's not. But they can message your supplier and say, hey, my sourcing agent has just uh, emailed you. Um, when I say just, I mean like you leave it a day or two so it doesn't seem like it's literally the same person. But they can say, hey, my sourcing agent has just uh, messaged you about getting a quote and we feel like the quote is too high. We've been messaging other suppliers. And maybe they give your your mentor a quote of $2 per unit, whereas they gave you a price of 3 So, point number four, because of your supplier's experience, they may be able to get you cheaper rates, um, which again goes back to why the upfront cost of a course is almost irrelevant, because if your supplier is actually helping you save money in the long run, then that initial investment is paid for, you know what I mean? Uh, and point number five, and this is um, a psychological trick, and it's I have a, a video on this. It's called commitment. So if you've paid for your mentor, when when you are financially invested in something, you, the, the likelihood of you succeeding in whatever it is you've paid for uh, drastically increases. So the reason being is that you've made a commitment, and as part of a commitment, we now have these internal pressures to stay consistent to that commitment. So without getting too into the psychology behind it, basically put, when you are financially invested, you will take your business a hell of a lot more seriously and you will almost guaranteed to see better results. So that's it, that's my five reasons why I believe buying a course uh, before starting your business is a good thing and is beneficial and will help you in your business. So I'll leave it at that. Obviously, it's up to you to make up your own mind. I personally think it's a good idea. I bought a course before I started my business. My business is doing well right now. And I contribute a large amount of that to the fact that I had a, a mentor that I could bounce his idea off. Um, and another thing is that they can they can verify your findings for you. So if you're not com confident in the the software or in your, in your um, product researching abilities, you can just verify that with your mentor. You can say, hey, I found this product, it looks okay, but I've not actually gone through with any shipments yet. Could you tell me if this looks viable? And they'll be able to tell you if that looks like a good or a bad item or not. So that's a bonus reason as well. But like I said, I'll leave it as that. So if you like the video, give me a like, share, comment down below. Uh, two most important things, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Um, which is extremely regular now. I uploaded two yesterday, there's one today, it's pretty much every day. Uh, you're guaranteed at least one video. And uh, join the Facebook group. It's a growing Facebook group. Uh, to those members that are already there, thank you so much, it means the world to me. And uh, yeah, join the Facebook group and we can have a discussion there. So hopefully I will see you in the comments down below and in the Facebook group. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.